Hey, this is Rick Casalge, Injury Specialist from ExercisesForInjuries.com. In today's video, I wanted to go through uh, quad stretch pain and what to do about it. And let me explain what I'm, gonna, uh, what I'm talking about. I'll get Andrea to demonstrate. What happens is some people that end up doing the traditional regular quad stretch end up getting knee pain from it. So they end up avoiding it. And they shouldn't really avoid the exercise. There's a lot of little tweaks that you can do to get the benefit from the exercise, but not the pain. So with this traditional one, you're standing, uh, looking straight ahead, hands on something in order to remove balance. So it can be a chair like this, or it can be a wall or something uh, stable and firm so that we can end up focusing on the stretch. And then you bring the heel towards the seat. And a lot of people just can't handle that, uh, that pressure in the knee. It ends up being too much. So let me show you a couple tweaks that you can do if you end up getting knee pain from the traditional uh, quad stretch but still get the benefit from the exercise, but not the pain. So instead of bringing the heel towards straight towards the seat, I can decrease it. I can bring it further away from the seat and still see if I'm ending up getting a light quad stretch. So the stretch might decrease, but it's still, if I'm getting a light stretch, that's fine. So that's mod tweak number one, modification number one. Now modification number two is what I can do, and what Andrea has here is, this is a, some loop tubing, but you can end up utilizing anything. You can use like a skipper, a skipping rope, a towel, a rope, anything to kind of put you and keep you in this position. Now the second tweak is is bringing that is you know straightening out the leg so you end up being at about 90. So hip, knee are at 90. And now what you can do is focus on almost like you're bringing that heel back and kicking something with your heel, and that ends up bringing the knee past the hip, and then you'll end up getting a quad stretch or a hip uh, flexor stretch. So a lot of times with people with knee pain, they'll feel this in their quads, and this ends up being a good quad stretch, but they don't have that knee pain or that knee stress. And you might also feel it lightly in your hip flexors, and that's perfectly fine. So that ends up being the second tweak that you can end up doing. And just like the regular traditional squat, the sets, reps, time, and intensity are all the same. I recommend one set, repetitions two, so alternating back and forth. Time ends up being holding for a good 20 seconds, and the intensity ends up being a light stretch that you're looking for. Now, the third tweak that you can end up doing ends up being you know, doing a hip flexor stretch. So I like the standing hip flexor stretch so with the standing, you're putting less stress on the knee as opposed to a kneeling one. Andrea's taking like a half step forward and half step back, looking that front leg is, is flat, you got a slight bend in the front knee, and usually people with knee pain can handle that bend, and same with the bend in the back leg. Back leg, Andrea is on the ball of her foot, bend in that knee, so she gets tight in the abdominal area, tightens up the glutes, brings the hips forward, and then it's mainly a hip flexor stretch, but if you end up having knee pain, you're oftentimes gonna feel it into that quadricep as well. So if, you're, if you have knee pain, you're oftentimes gonna feel it through here as well, and then you're also gonna feel it in the front of that hip area. So that's the standing hip flexor stretch. Now in order to intensify it, this ends up being the fourth tweak, it ends up being bringing the arms overhead and back a little bit. And that'll end up intensifying the stretch. So you've elongated yourself, increased your lever, and allowed yourself to get a stronger stretch in that quad and then that hip flexor area. Perfect, Andrea, thank you. So the sets, reps, and time and intensity for those, the third and fourth tweak are the same as the original quad stretch. So looking at sets one, repetitions two, time, 20 second hold. And when it comes to repetitions, I recommend alternating back and forth. And, and the reason why for that is if you just have knee pain on one side, it benefits the opposite side going through it as a preventative thing. And it also gives that knee pain side a bit of a break. So you're not going through a whole bunch of exercises just on that knee pain side, which ends up leading to unnecessary stress. So there you go, that ends up being four tweaks that you can end up doing if you end up getting 
knee pain from the traditional, traditional quad stretch. Now, if you have knee pain and you want some of my best tips and tricks when it relates to knee pain, then I recommend you click right here. I have a brand new free report called Five Tricks That Fight Knee Pain and Tightness. Just click right here. Let me know where to send that brand new free report and I'll send you that brand new free report right away. Now, if you're watching this on a mobile device, tablet, or smartphone, head down below in the description area and click the first link, which will end up being exercisesforinjuries.com forward slash knees. Let me know where to send you that report and I'll send you that report right away. Now, if you have a question or comment for me, leave it down below in the description area. And then lastly, hit subscribe in order to get future pain relieving videos.